Soldiers, Texas Grown 409, aka the Iraq Veteran Gamer, bringing you another installment of War Stories. Last episode I talked about what we do when we're bored in a war zone. This episode I'm going to share a story that almost ended very tragically. I almost killed an innocent family. So what happened was I was on tower guard and the picture you see right now is the same exact tower I was on. The bridge you see in the picture is the bridge that led to the main gate of our FOB. The only people who were allowed to cross that bridge was U.S. military. Even if it was the Iraqi police or the Iraqi army trying to cross that bridge, we were supposed to shoot at them to stop them. So what happened was, I was on tower guard and I was having a very hard time staying awake because we would stay up 30 something hours, sleep a couple hours, stay up 30 something hours, sleep a couple hours, stay up 30 something hours, sleep a couple hours. You get the fucking point. So I was standing up there and I was having a hard time staying awake and my head kept bobbing. It looked like I was jamming some Tupac. And all of a sudden, I see a white van hauling ass across the bridge like they were on Super Mario Kart about to cross the fucking finish line. By the time I noticed the van, the van was already halfway across the bridge. So I was like, oh shit. I grabbed my M16 and pointed it out the side of the tower. And as soon as I was about to start shooting, an Iraqi in a white man dress jumped out and he was covered in blood. So we all yelled at the Iraqi not to fucking move. But we didn't know if the guy could understand us since we didn't know if he spoke English or not. So I looked in the van to see how many people were in the van to make sure nobody was going to jump out and go Rambo on us. And the driver of the van was a woman. And in Iraq it is very rare to see a woman drive. And in the back seat there was a little boy. So we got the situation under control and the soldiers at the gate went out to see what the Iraqi wanted. So come to find out, this was just an innocent Iraqi who claimed to be shot, and he was coming to our base to seek medical treatment. As much as I talk shit about the military and war, good things do happen. It was a very good thing that we didn't just kill this innocent family, and that we gave them medical treatment. Even though according to our orders, we were supposed to kill that innocent family, because them crossing the bridge, they are considered a threat. Now the most fucked up part about this story is, after we got off guard, we got bitched at and we got threatened to get Article 15s for failure to obey orders or some shit like that. The reason we got bitched at was because nobody reacted, nobody shot at the vehicle. And this was after we knew it was just an innocent family. But the fucking van had NOS or something on it because the van made it across the bridge in just a few seconds. According to our escalation of force, the only way we could have properly handled the situation was to kill the innocent family since they crossed the kill line. Another fucked up thing about this is that we gave this Iraqi free health care. Now don't take that the wrong way, I'm not saying us helping this Iraqi was bad. It is a very good thing that we saved this Iraqi's life. But here in America, we turn down Americans who need treatment that could save their lives just because they don't have health care or they can't afford the treatment. Here's an example. My brother's girlfriend, the mother of my niece, she had to have surgery to have her appendix removed. Well, she was at the hospital and the doctor said, You don't get the surgery, then your ass is dead. Well, at first, the doctors refused to give her the surgery since she didn't have health care and she couldn't afford it. She did eventually get the surgery, but only because she fought the doctors to get it done. If we're going to give Iraqis free health care, then we should give our own people free health care too. I'm just glad that me, nor my fellow brothers and sisters had to kill an innocent family. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and favorite the fuck out of this if you're glad we didn't kill an innocent family. Anyways, much love from the Iraq Veteran Gamer.